All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Just Kinchi channel. So, in today's video, I'm telling you guys what is the new best race in Type Soul. So, Type Soul now has six races. We used to only have three, but now we have six of them. Now, the six races that we have are the following: Shinigami, Kunsi, Vasto Car, Vasto Quinn, Quincy Car, and lastly, Anomaly. Now, these are the new races, and the hybrids are really, really strong. But you have to unlock them through a quest line. But yeah. Let's jump into it. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because I'm trying to hit 25k sub, so please let's go. Also, join up my Discord server in the description of this video. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. So, the worst race in the game at the current moment is Shinigami. Now, this one may cause a lot of drama in the comments below, mainly because Shinigamis have a lot of strong secondaries. But the reason I put Shinigami in the worst race is because they are the weakest when it comes to defense. Like, literally, a Shinigami without Visor is really weak. And the fact now that we have these new Visor variants, which pretty much suck, in my personal opinion, I have not seen anyone who actually like these new variants because they're either buggy or they literally just are worse than what we had before. I really personally would wish that they revert the Visor rework because before Visor was pretty much fine. These new reworks aren't that really good, but at the end of the day, it's pretty cool. And Shinigami are the weakest. Now, after Shinigami, we have Vastokar. The reason Vastokar are over Shinigami is because Vastokar has Hero, and Hero is extra defense, and plus, Hero is not the main reason as well. The reason I put them over Shinigami is because they had the proficiency variant. The proficiency variant is really, really strong, and it carries many Aron cars. For example, if you play ranked, you would run into a lot of people who are running proficiency kendo, because proficiency just literally boosts every single skill tree, no matter what. If you are running keto, it will buff keto. If you're running kendo, it will buff kendo. If you're running speed, it will buff speed. It's literally just the best thing in the game when it comes to ranked right at this current moment, because Vasto cards with proficiency pretty much can beat Quincy's, but the reason I have Quincy at the top is because Quincy, Bolt Vein is stronger than Hero. Also, Quincy's have better secondaries. For example, we have the Balance. The Balance is basically the best thing for 1v1s, and the Volsanging is the best thing for boss raiding, clan wars, and everything in the game. The same can be said for Visionary. A visionary is good for 1v1s, it is good for boss raiding as well. Literally, Quincy is just the best race when it comes to having 1v1s and boss raiding, because their abilities are literally just made for boss raiding. For example, Death Dealing is probably the most annoying thing that you run in if you're trying to do a raid. But those are the base races. Now we jump into the hybrids. Now the hybrids scale over every single race that we've covered before. Now the worst hybrid at the current moment is Vastoquin. Now a lot of people may be mad at this, but Vastoquin, I put it here because Vastoquin, even though it buffs your variant, for example, will give you a stronger proficiency variant, it's not as strong as something like the Quincy cards. Because the Quincy card gives you life stealing Seros, while all the Vasto Quinn does is it gives you a bootleg Gulets and it just makes your variant a little bit stronger. The reason I have Quincy card over is because Quincy card, the life stealing Seros are really good, plus Quincy just have all around better secondaries compared to that of the Aran cars. So a hybrid with the secondaries of a Quincy's is just basically better. That's why I have Quincy card here. Now, the best race in the entirety of Tysol at the current moment is Anomaly. Now, the reason Anomaly is the strongest in the entire game is because Anomaly has something that the other races don't have, and it has variety. For example, you can use Arankar weapons, Quincy weapons, and Shinigami weapons. All you have to do is just roll them with hollow boxes, etc. Now, Quincy car could beat a Anomaly, but Anomaly are stronger, especially later on when Anomaly do eventually get Vasta Rage, because they already confirmed that Anomalies will be getting Vasta Rage in a future update. Now, Anomaly is better because Anomaly gives you a lot of freedom, plus I think the Shinigami secondaries are really strong now, especially with the fact that we now have Bolt Vein and Hero at the same time. Now, Anomaly makes up for what Shinigami lacked, which is defense, because it gives you Hero and Bolt Vein. Now, since Shinigami were lacking in defense, the only reason they were on the bottom of the list, now Anomaly gives you the fact, gives you what Shinigami lacked, and now you're pretty much better. Virtually, you have the strong Shikais of a Soul Reaper, and now you have the defense of an Arankar and a Quincy, and it can freely swap between a Bolt Vein and a Hero. If your Bolt runs out, just swap into Hero. But yeah, but yeah, tell me in the comments section below which race you think is the best. And this is my personal opinion, and I think Anomaly is the best race in the entire game at the current moment. Hope you guys enjoy. Catch you sign off. Love y'all, and peace.